Hi guys, um, I wanted to do a a quick review of the new Godzilla Minus One. I was really excited to check it out. I, I waited all week. We actually went to the movie theater last night. We, My whole family, we all got ready and we went and the lady was like, oh, there's no more showings of Godzilla tonight. And it's like, your website? She's like, oh, well, the website's wrong sometimes. And I was like, so we came home and we decided to go to the matinee today. Um, cause I really wanted to see it. Um, I had this movie hyped up a bit for, for me, uh, probably hyped up too much. Um, I, I don't want to say it was a bad movie. I was really good, but I think people are kind of hyping it up. I saw like, um, one of my friends was saying he made him cry. It was the most beautiful movie he saw, he ever saw. One person said it was movie of the year. Um, I like, how do I do this? I'm happy that there's a Japanese Godzilla movie that, that you guys, that everybody that I can tell, as far as I can tell is enjoying it. But at the same time, I don't want more of these Godzillas because this is, this movie's good. It's cool. I feel like Toho took... They were watching the le they they saw the legendary movies that were made for you know North America or whatever I think legendaries are they Canadian, whatever the Amer they're calling them the American Godzillas right we had the trilogy right, um oh before I get too far in this I just want to hold this up, I'm a huge fan of of the Godzilla movies this is like all my giant monster movies, I got King Kong in there too because I love King Kong. But I, I like I like Godzilla, right? I got a lot of movies I've been collecting over the years. So I'm not like and I'm a 36-year-old man. So when I'm watching this stuff, my favorite Toho movie actually is War of the Gargantuas. I fucking love War of the Gargantuas. But I like Godzilla. So you have your different eras, right? You have your Showa, which you know, you have like one of my favorite Godzilla movies is Godzilla vs. Megalon. This movie's batshit insane. It's fucking crazy. Destroy All Monsters is really good. Um, the third one, King Kong vs. Godzilla is fun. And, and I have the new ones. I did enjoy these movies. I like these Godzillas. But these, to me, are not the same as, like, I don't know. Well, one of these. One of the Showa's. My favorite, I like the Hersey. I hope I'm saying that right. The, the 90s Godzilla. Um, Godzilla vs. Destroya and, and Space Godzilla. I really love these movies. Um, this also has a Millennium um, era, which is probably my least favorite. But these these legendary movies, as great as they are, they're, they're CG. They're very, very CGI-heavy, like, computer effects movies. The appeal... To me, at least, for Godzilla is the craftsmanship that went into those movies. Like, they built little cities. They had a big wave pool where Godzilla would come out of the ocean stuff. There's a man in a rubber suit. And actually, my favorite King Kong, King Kong Lives, they took a page, they took a note from Godzilla, and they put a man in the King Kong suit. And it's a cool movie. They, add, You know, you, you add your effects and stuff. And there's nothing wrong with CGI. I like CGI. But they took Godzilla and they, they did what Legendary did and they, they made this Godzilla completely like CGI. And to me, that's not the same as what I've been getting for like 30-something movies. Um, this was fun. There is not a man in a suit in Shin Godzilla. I actually think I like Shin Godzilla a little bit better. As far as the craftsmanship that went into this movie. I'm not talking about like plot or anything. The, the new Godzilla has a great storyline. There, there was a pretty solid like story behind it. Um, I'll get to that in a second, though. But this, I mean, they had a puppet. They, they ended up not going with the suit. It worked, though. It worked a little bit better. I didn't feel as... I feel like these movies are so lifeless. Like You can put all the blinking lights and explosions and bullshit you want on something and make it colorful and, and, and do all that on the computer... It's going to be lifeless. AI, all this stuff, all these computer effects and stuff, it, they, it, it becomes overstimulating to me, at least. 
Whereas if you have like you build your city, you, you get your monsters, you build them out of rubber, and you you have your craftsmanship involved, there's a little more life to it to me. And I don't know if people give a fuck about that, or if I'm alone on that 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 thought process. So I enjoyed the new movie, but I also am missing a huge chunk of what I I personally enjoy when I'm watching an older Godzilla film, um, the the craftsmanship that went into it. I feel like this movie was made by a bunch of people sitting at a computer. Um, it was very pretty, but I just got that. I got that in three movies. So I was excited for like, this had like some fucking weird shots in it. Like when baby, when the baby version of, of the Godzilla in this movie is like crawling down the street and there's people running and screaming. That was cool. It was weird. It was like a little puppet thing and its eyes were like Googling around. And I think this guy made Evangelion, the director of this movie. So this was a little weird. Like there was something to watch. Like, and and I know like, okay, I'm gonna say this. Everybody's calling it, it's a prequel, right? Well, that's stupid. It's not a prequel. They remade the original Godzilla basically, and and kind of changed some things. And they made it take place a little bit before you know 1950s Godzilla, but it's a remake. And they're definitely trying to do. I felt like it was Toho trying to copy Legendary more. Let's have a really good story. And there were some really cool shots like with um, the lady hanging from the train and, and the way he's destroying everything and blah, blah, blah. But that doesn't make it a good Godzilla movie. It made it a good movie. It's a good movie. But it's not as – it's not what I – like what I think – it's not the direction I want to see these movies going. It's It's – I got my American Godzilla. So if I want like crazy like CGI, cool, I guess. But I'm still, like, all this movie made me want to do is go home and watch, like, one of these older movies. Like, right now, honestly, after watching that, I, w I could put in, like, I don't know, man. These are probably two of my favorite Godzilla movies. These two. Those movies are fucking great. I like, I like Biollante. I like, I even like this movie. I wouldn't recommend this movie as an alternative to Minus One because this story and this is batshit insane. But it's like all the monsters are fighting each other. It's the end of the millennium era. This movie was cool. I And, and I don't want to... I don't want to shit on people for liking it. You know what I mean? But I don't know... I think the people who are hyping this movie... might They might not have the same appreciation for... I don't know how to explain it. It's it, this is a difficult thing to explain. Like I I didn't dislike the movie. This isn't a bad review. It's just is it movie of the year? No, I don't think it's the movie of the year. It didn't make me cry. Um, I laughed a lot actually when they were all saluting. I don't want to ruin the story. There's a part where everybody's like saluting at the end, and it, I like laughed out loud, and a bunch of other people started laughing in the theater because it was fucking cheesy and weird and. They were trying really hard. Like any scene where people were crying and stuff, it wasn't like – it was like they were trying a little harder and I, you, some of you ate that up. And that's okay. Like if, if, if you appreciate it for what it was, that's great. But I I don't know if I'm watching um, Godzilla for Picture of the Year awards. You know what I mean? Like I'm watching – I want to see like – I want to go, wow, that was a – that was a really good miniature. Like, the, how did they do that? Like, I want to, I want to be able to like watch the special effects. I feel like when you watch something like, I don't know, was there any special effects on here? There might be. I never looked at the special features on this Blu-ray because it's a bunch of fucking people sitting in a room full of computers putting it all together. But if you like this DVD for War of the Gargantuas, has a whole two-hour documentary included with it, and what was it called? bringing Godzilla down the size, and it's, like, the best, man. They, like, take it, and they 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 show you, like, how they built the cities, how they built the monsters, how they, like, that's the, that's the thing I guess I like about Godzilla. I'm not, I, like I said, I'm a grown man. Like, I'm not, you're not convincing me whether you're doing CGI or rubber, man in a rubber suit. I know I'm watching a movie, right, at this point. Like, I'm not, it's rare that I'm going to be, like, Wow, look at the computer graphics on this. Like I've it's it's I'm desensitized almost to like these Marvel movies. Like I watched Final Wars and everybody's telling me it's or the last um Aquaman, everybody's like, that's like the most beautiful movie I ever saw. 
It was a bunch of fucking noise and lasers and hundreds of people spent hours like making these laser shoot everywhere. It's too much. It's it it's dumb. It's not good. It's not good filmmaking, right? This 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 Godzilla minus one didn't do that. It, it wasn't too noisy and stuff. But the scenes with Godzilla, they were good. And I don't even know if a man in a rubber suit would have made them better. I'm not that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I miss that craftsmanship that went into it. And and that that got me thinking like a lot of these newer movies like that everybody raves about. It's been a bad year for movies for me personally. I need something to like catch me off guard, but be good. There's stuff that catches me off guard all the time. There's that new Emma Stone movie coming out. That it looks awkward as fuck. I don't I was it poor people or something? Poor persons? What was that movie? I don't know if you guys have seen the trailer. There's this fucking awful looking movie with Emma Stone in it. And, and they're trying really hard to be different. There's just like a way. I don't know how to explain it. I don't even know if there is like if you can do anything original anymore. But I feel like with something like Godzilla, you have a giant monster, a city, put people in it, right? Like Shin Godzilla took that, that they modernized the original, right? Whereas this minus one went back and just retold that story. Or, well, did a prequel prequel they retold the original fucking godzilla it's not that fresh of an idea and everybody's like oh it's very eco aware and it's talking about disasters and yeah every fucking god that's what godzilla came from he came from he's the result of of nuclear warfare right and and, and our actions against one another in world war ii there is intelligence involved behind the story and, and each one is a natural the very opening shot of gojira is a bunch of people laying in a room after getting terrorized by godzilla right like they're all wrecked, like and they're all bloody. That that was done in the first movie, like 34, 35 movies ago, right? So this movie's not doing anything new. It's number thirty, whatever the fuck, if we're counting the American ones. Um it's been done. So I watched the legendary movies, they were fun. Like I really I liked Godzilla vs. Kong. It was a fun movie, right? And I liked Skull Island and but and this movie, I would say, had a better storyline with the humans than the legendary movies. I will give them that. Like, they had a cool story. Uh, a kamikaze war, uh, kamikaze fighter survives World War II, which if you know what a kamikaze's job is, they're supposed to die. And Japan lost World War II, right? So he's kind of feeling shameful about surviving. He wasn't supposed to. He was supposed to do his job, and he failed to do that. And, and so he blames himself for losing World War II kind of thing. That's cool. That's great. But I, I don't know, man. They didn't get me the way they got a lot of you, and that's cool. I I'm a little jealous that you guys enjoyed it more. Um, I liked it. Like I'll 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 be getting on DVD and I'll I'll be checking more into like how it was made and stuff. And and I love like it's one of my favorite series to follow. It's been one of my. I I remember the first time I saw War of the Gargantuas, my dad brought home, this is VHS days, my dad had a VHS of War of the Gargantuas, my uncle Scott lent him, and it had the, it's like the pink cover with the two Gargantuas, like, and there's tanks, and there's people looking scared on the cover, it's such a good fucking movie though, like, and there's two dudes covered in fur, and, and they're running around a city, and there's like a giant octopus, and like, I don't know, I kind of want like weird I think when I I think that's what I'm looking for. I want something more like outlandish. A giant lizard. They even explain like he can heal and stuff. And it's like a giant lizard coming out of the water and just blowing up a city a couple times and then like I don't know, man. This impressed me more. This last one that came out, I think this was like 2017. This got me the editing was so fast paced, like it was so cool. And I don't feel like they were trying to, like, copy Legendary. Whereas I feel like this new one was definitely, like, we got to make an America. We have to Americanize this. In fact, this movie made fun of America's take on Godzilla. They took, they call her Zilla. They refer to her, they refer to Zilla as a girl, and she's fully CGI'd, right? Zilla's in this movie, and Godzilla hits her with the tail. Like, their fight's, like, two seconds long. It's like, get the fuck out of here. They make fun of Americans hard in this movie. So how do we go from Final Wars where it's like, yeah, fuck CGI, man. We're we're making our fucking, we're doing this the Toho way to, they kind of started bending here. They were like, oh, let's do puppets, right? We can do more with puppets on the computer to just full CGI. Like, yeah, we, we got to, we have to modernize this. We can't do a man in a suit anymore. 
I want to make a giant monster movie. I want somebody to be like, Andrew, here's $10 million to make a Hollywood monster movie. And I'd put all that money into fucking practical effects. And I'd make the craziest fucking movie. Like, anybody. It doesn't have to be me. Like, I want a crazy... This shit was so big in the 80s. King Kong Lives. Do you guys remember this movie? Have you guys seen this movie? This movie's batshit insane. High budget Hollywood movie. They fucking... They took... This is a great movie, too. This is A Man in a Suit. This is a remake. 1978 remake. I think it was 78, right? So they did They did King Kong correctly. This was a big movie in the 70s. In, 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 in my lifetime, this was the, the King Kong, right? And you can compare this with what I'm talking about right now. You can compare this to Peter Jackson's King Kong, and there's a big fucking difference. There's something... They hit this sweet spot with this movie. I love the original King Kong. Um, I love the original. It's a great movie, but it's a big puppet, right? It's clay. It's a stop motion puppet, right? So they 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 took that, and instead of make CGI wasn't where where it's at now. So they they made a man in a suit, and there's so much life in this this. It doesn't look like a real gorilla, right? I know it's a man in a suit, right? I knew that when I was five years old, but there's life to it, right? That's cool. And they took this movie and they turned it on its head, and they 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 put a robot heart into king kong and they bring him back to life and they find a girl king kong and they and they're trying to keep him from getting to the girl king kong because he can smell her and he wants to mate with her and like he has a pacemaker or some shit i don't know man like go fucking crazy right and you care about the characters in the story he's like killing like country bumpkins and it's a great fucking movie i guess this is more what i want than like what i got today i there's my review I hate being alone on these things. Like, is there anybody... It, most people might be watching this video and going, you're bitching too much. And it's probably true. It, it, like I said, it's hard to... It's a hard movie to pro review and give you my honest opinion without sounding like I'm picking it apart. Like, I'm happy I went and watched it. I enjoyed it. It's a good movie. But I'm missing that element of, like... I guess craftsmanship. Like, I'm sick of watching these movies being generated on computer. I play video games for that, right? I, like... I, I like computer graphics. I'm not saying that you can't do that. I'm just saying a fully like CGI Godzilla. Why couldn't you? I guess there's only so much you can do with, with the man in a suit, but I don't know. I even accepted the puppet. I, I wasn't even mad when Shin Godzilla came out and it was a puppet. I, I accepted it. It still looked good. Like it looked real. Kind of. Is that my issue? I might just be getting old. That might just be the fun. I might just be too old for this shit. I'm going to go vacuum. Bye. Oh, check out King Kong Lives. My review of Godzilla Minus One ends with, I want to go watch King Kong Lives now. <laughs>